My first sport eve. A little bit spontaneous. So he's just going a little bit too slow. Fancy seeing you here. Hello, <laughs> me. Whoa! Flash! Hi, my name's Thomas Martinez, and I've had a lot of hobbies over the years, but I fit in between my full-time job as a tattoo artist. But now, it's time for my journey into the pursuit of speed and adventure. I am the cycling tattooist. Well, it's early, it's 6 a.m., and I'm on the road. I only decided that I was gonna do this yesterday. I'm pretty excited about this one as today is going to be my first sportive. It's a nice loop around Cambridge and the surrounding areas. And yeah, I think it's going to be a fun one. Anyways, I'm going to get some breakfast down my neck and definitely some caffeine. And I'll see you there. Hi mate, going? where's the uh, sign in? Oh, the sign in, yeah. yeah. The tent's over there. Now, I don't know if there's a legal definition, a minimum requirement to form a peloton, <laughs> but I think probably this number of riders in one place qualifies. Five, four, three, two, one. Peloton's on go. Cheers mate. Enjoy the ride. Thanks mate. Follow those bikes. So we're off, just on a nice little cycle path along by a train track here or something. So we've got a 100 mile ride, it's turned out to be a pretty nice day so far. Now the reason I ended up doing this ride today was because a guy by the name of Tom, who follows me on Instagram, he messaged me yesterday saying he'd watched one of my videos, the uh, how to ride a 100 mile video, and he said he picked up some tips for a ride that he'd be doing today. So I asked him about it and uh, had a look. And yeah, just uh, really like the look of the route. Plus, like I said, this will be my first sportive. So a little bit spontaneous, but sometimes they're the best ones. Looking forward to ticking off my first sportive. Hopefully the weather stays like this. Anyways, let's get pedaling. I'm going to try and catch up with that Tom. I bumped into him just before the start. He's already left, so see you in a bit. gone and gone for the solo breakaway haven't I? <laughs> I was with that group at the start and uh, it was just going a little bit too slow so I thought I'd put the hammer down a bit try and catch up with some other groups. I'm only 15k in at the minute now 100 miles is about 160k so long way to go yet. Fancy seeing you here. Hello, mate. <laughs> As I'm struggling up there, any time you came to me. Yeah. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. Caught up in the end. Yeah. <laughs> How did you catch us up? <laughs> I did almost get lost a couple of times already, though. Mm -hmm. 
Friday, lovely out here. Off he goes. I know. <laughs> yeah. Mother these three stone thinks he's f***ing Chris Spring. <laughs> I thought this was meant to be flat. <laughs> yeah, right. What's going on? You love a little sprint up the hill, didn't you, mate? <laughs> so, cracking on. Averaging 30k an hour at the minute. I'm here with the two Toms. <laughs> well, three Toms including me. How are you guys getting on? Mate, I needed to train way more for this than I <laughs> Have you done a hundred before or? I did, it, I did it last weekend with my dad over two days. Oh yeah, nice. In September I'm doing the London Revolution. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing that. It's 250 kilometers. Yeah, because they, uh, they postponed it, didn't they? Yeah, so yeah. it's now back, it was in May, it's now in September. Yeah. So yeah, I had, I've had a couple booked this year and um, they've all been pushed back to September. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think I've got like three in September now. <laughs> so yeah, only 26k in. Got a long way to go yet. Hope you're feeling strong, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not after last night's sleep. Oh, yeah, I was just talking to Tom just before we started, and we were both saying about how horrendous our recovery scores were. I think, uh, where did you have? 43. 43%, I had 28. So, yeah, both both not in a top condition, but we'll push through. Anyways, catch you in a bit. So I'm 50k in, the weather's holding out. It's not the warmest of days, but it'll do. Considering I've got a 28% recovery score, I'm actually feeling really good. I'm just gonna uh, carry on having a nice chilled ride for now. Once I hit the uh, first stop, I might push on the pace a bit. So yeah, let's get to the first food stop and then yeah, see how I'm feeling. Maybe give it some beans. k in now so not far off the halfway point apparently we blasted past the first stop didn't even realize so yeah i think i'm gonna uh, push on now i've been uh, taking it super easy been averaging 155 watts and about 29 kilometers an hour so see so yeah, i'm gonna push on now and uh try and bump that up get that to at least over 30 kilometers an hour probably get the power closer to 200 at least but yeah, it's been nice just cruising along, enjoying myself. I've never ridden around here, so sometimes it's good to just take it in, you know? But having said that, I don't want this century ride to uh, end up taking me all day. So let's start cranking out some kilometers now. I'll just say see you later to the Toms, and then I'll be on my way. How you doing, mate? Alright. Not too bad. Pushing on. Right. What about you, mate? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. Just pushed down a bar. Oh nice. I need to feel like a new man in about yeah, five minutes. That's it. Gotta get that food in. Yeah, exactly man. Although my ass is getting pounded. Uh, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Why isn't someone invented a pair of cycling shorts that's like slow release chamois cream in it? <laughs> yeah, that's not a bad shout. Or like the cyclist tampon, just stick it up there and <laughs> melt as the day goes on. <laughs> There you go, any inventors out there, if you want to make the cyclist tampon, then uh, yeah, get in touch with Tom here. He's got a patent ready to go, I think. All right, boys, I think I'm going to uh, push on. Nice to meet you guys. You, you too, pal. Yeah, nice riding you, ride. bro. Yeah, man. Hanging on your wheels, definitely up my average speed this morning. <laughs> well, good luck with the, uh, the rest of it, mate. Cheers, yeah, man, you too. Your legs feeling all right? Yeah, I feel all right, man. Yeah, it's more on my shoulder I was worrying about, but uh, seems to be all right in a minute. But this will be the uh, longest ride I've done since. So. Yeah. 
bit of a tester for it. I missed the first one, so I thought I'd better stop at this one. <laughs> so I just stopped at the uh, halfway stop, refilled my water. I've left the two times now, so I've gone solo. Start playing catch up on my average speed and my power. But yeah, really nice to meet those guys. It's nice to have a little chin wag when you're riding sometimes. Helps the distance go by a bit quicker. I'm not really liking the look of the sky, so hopefully I don't get caught out, but We'll see, won't we? The route so far has been absolutely wonderful. I definitely have to consider coming back and doing it again, especially once we get some better weather. I can imagine doing this route on a lovely sunny day in the summer. Oh, it'd be marvellous. So yeah, thanks to the event organisers for planning such a great route. All right, I'm going to stop off then. Get my head down. See you in a bit. I just stopped because my seat kept falling down and then I've seen these guys here. Get a little cutie. Come here, mate. No. Yeah, really weird that. I've never had that on a bike. I just suddenly thought, I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable. And then I looked down and uh, my seat had dropped by about an inch. Must have looked like a right idiot that I was on a kid's bike or something. I did notice when I got this bike that the post had quite a bit of paste on it. I know they say you're supposed to have paste on your seat post with carbon frames. I'm not very experienced in that department, so. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what's best really. Maybe someone could uh, leave a comment in the comment section. If you know what's best, let me know. I'm gonna stop mucking around now. I've had about 20 people go past me. And my competitive juices are flowing. See if I can catch them. Almost took a wrong turn. Just found some wheels with them guys, trying to get some shelter from the wind. It's picked up pretty bad and it's just started to rain. Just what we wanted. We've only got about 25k to go, so gonna get my head down, get it smashed out. Hopefully, don't get too wet. too bad luckily it was just a bit of a short shower so i've managed to pick my average speed up to just shy of 30 kilometers an hour and i brought my average power up to 170 not the fastest obviously but hey ho is a sportive after all not a race and until it started raining i was thoroughly enjoying myself not far now though so i don't really mind i'm hoping at the finish they've got a burger of some kind oh yeah. Almost took a wrong turn again. I was talking about burgers, weren't I? That's why I almost missed the turn here. I don't know whether it's wishful thinking, but I'm pretty sure 
I saw some sort of barbecue action there at the start, so so fingers crossed. And then if not, looks like I'll be getting a McDonald's. Dirty, dirty McDonald's. As I said before, you can pretty much eat what you want when you do these long rides. Anyways, I'll see you at the finish line. Hopefully with a burger in my mouth. I'll have a sausage and a burger, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing that got me through that last 10, 20k was the thought of this. Going back to the car now. Now, annoyingly, that route was actually 156 kilometers. Works out about 98 miles. <laughs> now, if that was my first 100 miler, then I'd probably go and get the extra couple of miles. But I can't be a I've done the route, and that's what matters. So yeah, that's it, all done. Bloody good ride, that. And yeah, as far as my first sportive goes, really enjoyed it. Got chatting to a few guys, and yeah, it was cool. Definitely do some more. It was a nice little taster. I've got a few more booked up for uh, for later on in the year, so yeah, I look forward to them. Anyways, thanks again to the event organisers for putting on a good ride, and uh, yeah, I'll be back next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.